time, Big Sprouts. It's theme time. Our theme is fall season and stories. In this theme, we're going to learn about the things you can see and do in fall, and we're going to read some fun fall stories. So let's get started. If you look outside right now, you might think, hmm, some things are happening. That's right. Some things are changing because the season is changing. In spring, we learned that the, the days are very cool and warm. There's lots of sunshine. We can see flowers growing. We can see um, baby animals being born. It's a nice time to be outside flying kites and having a picnic. Then the season changes to summer. It gets very, very hot. There's lots of sunshine all day long. We might spend more time inside because it's so warm or we might go to places like the beach and play in the sand or we might swim in the ocean but now things are changing outside it's no longer very very hot and we don't see the sun as much it's now fall it is fall season can you say it's fall it's fall that's right so let's talk about some things that you might see in fall now, when you go outside, the weather might be a little bit cooler, might be a little bit breezy, right? The sun might not be shining as bright. Yeah, things are changing. The weather is changing, but also things that we see around are changing. Let's learn about some different fall things. Say, I can learn about fall. All right, let's get started. <gasps> I have some lovely things all over the table. Let's talk about them. Let's start with some food that is associated with fall, okay? Let's start with this fruit, okay? I see a lot of red in this picture. Somebody is holding something in their hand. This is a fruit. Do you know what fruit it is? What is it? Yes, that's right. It's an apple. It's an apple. What color is this apple? What color is it? It's red. That's right. It's red. All of the apples on this tree are red. So what color are they? They are red. That's right. Apples can be all different colors. Some apples are red, like in our picture. Some apples are yellow. Some apples are green. Apples are fruits. They grow on trees. They have seeds inside of them, right? Fruits and vegetables are good for our body, right? If we eat apples, we can get energy, energy to do so many different things. We can run, we can jump, we can dance, we can climb, we can learn. So apples are very good for us. In fall, people like to go to um, different farms and pick apples. You can see lots and lots of apple trees all over. People go and pick a bunch of apples off of the trees. Then they can make different things with them. Some people make apple juice, some people make apple jelly, and some people make a special dessert. This right here. This is an apple pie. It's an apple pie. When people pick apples, they like to make a special dessert. They like to make apple pie. It's very sweet and it reminds you of the fall season. Have you ever tried apple pie? Oh, apple pie is delicious. I like apple pie. Let's learn about another fruit that we might see in fall. Ooh, look at this picture. This picture looks very, very fun. I see a lot of orange things in this picture. Do you know what they are? What are they? They are pumpkins. That's right. They are pumpkins. What color are they? They are orange. That's right. They are orange. There are so many pumpkins in this picture. This place is called a pumpkin patch. It's where we grow lots and lots of pumpkins. In fall, people like to go to the pumpkin patch. These pumpkins are orange, but some pumpkins can be green. Some pumpkins can be uh, white. <gasps> some pumpkins can be yellow. Pumpkins can be different colors. Also, these pumpkins here, they look round like a ball, like a sphere shape. But sometimes pumpkins can be a little bit taller. Sometimes they can be a little bit wider. So pumpkins can also be different shapes. 
Pumpkins are fruits because they have seeds inside of them. Do you see um, the green parts of the plant? Pumpkins grow on vines. We learned about vines, right? Vines are plants that can grow up or they can grow from side to side. These vines are growing from side to side and the pumpkins are growing on them. Sometimes people go to the pumpkin patch in fall and they pick pumpkins like they pick apples. You can also pick pumpkins and one special treat that people like to make with pumpkins is pumpkin pie, another kind of pie. This right here is a pumpkin pie. People go to a pumpkin patch and they pick some pumpkins and then they might turn their pumpkins into pumpkin pie. Have you ever had pumpkin pie? I love pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie is my favorite, is my favorite pie, my favorite dessert. If you have never tried it, you should try pumpkin pie. It's delicious. All right, so those are some foods that uh, people think about when it is fall. But let's learn about some th other things that you might see outside. Let's talk about some plants and some things that maybe grow on trees. So I have two different kinds of trees here. And then I also have two different things that grow on these trees. This big bushy tree is an oak tree. It's an oak tree. It's very big, right? You can see, um, you know, the bottom part right here, uh, the trunk of the tree, and then you can see the big bushy leaves all around it. This is an oak tree. And these right here are acorns. They are acorns. What are they? They are acorns. That's right. I also have some acorns on my table. I found these acorns outside at the park. These are also acorns. These acorns have a special little top on them, but these ones have already fallen off. These are acorns. Acorns grow on oak trees. They are a seed. And these acorns are actually food for animals. Squirrels like to eat acorns and deer like to eat acorns. So acorns are very important for animals, right? Also, another tree that's important for animals, this is called a pine tree. It's a pine tree. Doesn't it look much different than the oak tree? This pine tree, you can see the trunk is quite tall and thin thin and you can actually see all of the branches on this tree right on a pine tree you can find pine cones it's a pine cone this is a pine cone this pine cone is big but i actually found two smaller pine cones so they can also be different sizes sometimes they're a little bit different shape also this uh, this is a pine cone and there are actually seeds inside this pine cone and guess what squirrels like to eat pine cones too so fall is a very important time for animals as well they are looking they're looking for their food but another big clue that it is fall are the leaves and I have a lot of leaves here on the table. Let's take a closer look at these leaves. Let's scoot in all of my fall leaves and my acorns so we can take a nice close look. Wow. Take a look here, Big Sprouts. What do you see? What do you see? I see leaves. I see acorns, I see pine cones. Yes, these are some things that you might see outside during fall. If you look at the leaves, do they look the same or different? That's right, they look different. They're not all the same, right? Some leaves are big. Some leaves are small. Right? Even the shape is different with the leaves, right? Some leaves 
are kind of long and just come to one point, but some leaves have many points. So leaves are also different shapes, different sizes, different shapes, and different colors. What colors do you see? What colors do you see? How about this? What color is this? It's yellow, that's right. It's a yellow leaf. Can you say that? It's a yellow leaf. Good, we have some yellow leaves here. Hmm, what color is this? It's green, yeah, it's a green leaf. We also have some green leaves. What color is this? It's red, that's right, it's a red leaf. Can you say that? It's a red leaf, that's right. We also have some red leaves and some are kind of starting to turn an orange color. Can you see that? Some kind of look orangish red right? Maybe we can say it's orange. It's an orange leaf. What is it? It's an orange leaf. That's right. So leaves are different sizes, different shapes, and different colors. Usually we see green leaves, right? In spring and in summer we see green leaves. But now in fall we see some green leaves, but now we see different colors as well. Why are these leaves changing colors? Let's learn about it. I want to do a science experiment with you to show you why leaves change colors, okay? Let's do some learning. I'm gonna go get all of our things for our science experiment. Let's do it. All right, let's get started. I want to do a science experiment with you today. A science experiment is when you learn about something. You try new things to learn about it. So today we are going to learn about uh, leaves and why leaves change colors. We said in spring and summer we see a lot of green leaves, but now in fall we're starting to see different color leaves. We're starting to see yellow leaves and orange leaves and red leaves uh, and brown leaves, right? We want to figure out why. So in spring and in summer, there's a lot of sunlight, right? Plants need sunlight to help them grow, but plants also do a very, very important job for themselves, but also for people. Plants make the air that we breathe. They make oxygen for us. When we breathe in, we're breathing in oxygen. The plants are helping make that for us. Plants also make their own food. They make sugar to help them do their work. So. Plants use uh, water, they drink their water, right? They absorb, they drink the water from the ground and they also take in sunlight uh, from the sun and then they also take in the air, the gas that's all around them. They bring in all of these things and then they use something called chlorophyll to um, make the leaves green but also to um, make the oxygen that people have to breathe and to make sugar for the leaves so the leaves can keep working. They need sunlight to help them do their job. Plants need sunlight to help them do their job. But in fall, the days are getting shorter. The nights are getting longer. There's less sunlight. So if there's less sunlight, the leaves can't really do their job. Right? So if there's less sunlight, the leaves are not working as much. They're kind of resting. They're kind of, you know, waiting for the sunlight to come back. So they're starting to lose that chlorophyll, that green color, because there's not any more sunlight or there's less sunlight. So let's kind of see what, how, how that happens, how the green chlorophyll color comes out and reveals and shows the real color of the leaf. So we need a couple things for our experiment. We need a glass jar. You want it clear so you can see inside and on the top. Uh, you'll need a spoon. You will need some napkins. 
you will need, this is a coffee filter. Uh, maybe your, your parents or your grandparents maybe have um, this when they make coffee, okay? Um, a white coffee filter so we can see the different colors. Um, and then we need some alcohol. This is special alcohol that we use a lot of times for science. Now, we should not get alcohol um, on our body or in our eyes, on our face. It's not meant for that. It's meant for doing science, for learning new things. So we will also use gloves to keep our hands safe. Okay? So we need all of these for our science experiment. The first thing you need to do is you need to find some leaves that are all the same color. So we kind of want to sort our leaves by color. So if I look over here, um, I see a lot of, uh, maybe we can use yellow, okay? Maybe we're going to use yellow. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your yellow leaves. So let's take some yellow leaves. Remember, we're sorting them by color. Sort means to put all the same colors together, okay? And here's what we're going to do. You're just going to take the leaf and you're going to rip it into little pieces. The pieces don't have to be the same size. You know, it, it, they don't have to be perfectly shaped. We're just ripping them into small pieces. The smaller, the better. That way the color will come through. So you want to kind of fill up uh, the bottom of your jar. You want to kind of cover the bottom of it. So you just keep ripping until you have a good amount of small pieces of leaves. Hmm, that looks pretty good. Okay, so we have only yellow in this jar, right? If you want to do all of the colors, you can use many different jars, okay? So you have your um, small pieces of leaves inside. Next is when I'm going to put on my gloves because the next part we are going to need to use um, the alcohol. Okay, in this experiment the alcohol is going to help release the leaf color. All right, so what you want to do is you want to pour in some alcohol to kind of cover the leaves. You want the leaves to kind of be underneath, underneath the alcohol. Kind of like they're taking a bath or they're swimming. Okay, let's try that. Now you're gonna take your spoon and you're just gonna kind of, you know, push down and mix you really want to make sure all of the parts of the leaves are touching, are soaking in um, the alcohol. Kind of mixing, kind of pushing it down. Again, doesn't need to be perfect. You don't need to do it for a long time. Okay. Once you kind of have that mixed nicely, put that right there. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take the coffee filter. The coffee filter is white. You're going to kind of roll it just, just a little bit. It doesn't have to be tight or anything. You just kind of want it to fit nicely in your jar. We're going to put it right inside, right inside, and then you're just going to kind of leave it there. It's going to open a little bit. Okay, now it's inside. It is touching, uh, the coffee filter is touching the um, alcohol. It's also touching the leaves. Okay. Now, nothing is quite happening yet, but soon after a few hours, or you can even wait maybe overnight, you can go to sleep and then you can come back and see it in the morning, you're going to see some changes. You might see that the, um, the alcohol has changed colors. So if you have yellow leaves inside here, your alcohol might be yellow. And also your coffee filter might start turning the same color. So this coffee filter will eventually be yellow, right? So let's see what it would look like if you left it uh, overnight 
So maybe when you went to bed at eight o'clock and then you woke up at seven o'clock, let's see what it would look like if you wait for a while, okay? Let me show you. So I'm going to put this one over here. Maybe so you can see the difference. Over here, I wanna show you. Here is one jar. did two different colors. So we started a yellow one uh, today, right? I did this yellow one last night. So you can see the difference. And then I also did some red leaves. Let's look at the difference here. So here our coffee filter is still white, right? Um, and the water is, uh, the water, the, the alcohol is still clear. But over here, you can kind of see the alcohol is changing color a little bit. And look at our coffee filter. Some of the yellow has come through, starting to come out. So we can see this was the original color of these leaves. Over here, we have our red leaves. You can see the alcohol has a shade of reddish pink color. And then also you can see, wow, look at that coffee filter. It really absorbs some of the colors in the leaves. So this shows that this leaf's original color is red, but there was still a little bit of chlorophyll inside. Remember chlorophyll changes the leaves uh, green. So you can still see some of the green coming through. So this is what happens. When fall comes, we have less sunlight. If we have less sunlight, the leaves cannot really do their job anymore, right? They need sunlight to make sugar to help them um, continue to do their work, which is making oxygen for us, right? To help us breathe. So if there's not enough sunlight, then they cannot make these sugars anymore. And so the chlorophyll, the green that they use to help them do their job, the green color starts to leave the leaf and out comes the true color. So actually leaves aren't always green. Some leaves are always red. Some leaves are always yellow. Some leaves are always orange. But with the sunlight and the chlorophyll, they actually change the leaf to green. So in fall, we can see the true leaf colors. Isn't that so interesting? And here you can see what the actual colors look like. So these leaves are actually very, very dark red. And these leaves are a beautiful yellow color. And that's how leaves change colors. In fall, the leaves are going back to their original color. Wow, is it learning fun? Learning is so much fun. Ms. Sprouts, you did a great job today learning some things about fall. I hope you can try to do some science experiments at your house too, so you can learn new things. Great job today. I'll see you next time.